Uh, it's that wonderful time of year where people won't shut up about their Halloween costumes or whenever Thanksgiving is. Halloween has always been one of my favorite holidays, but as I got older, I felt out of place trick-or-treating, so I usually just sit inside playing video games. This is a gaming channel, so let's talk about video games. There's certain things in games that are just absolutely terrifying. Whether it's a horror game or not, there are some scary things in gaming. So today, that's what I'm going to be talking about. My name is Matt, aka Chunky Monkey Games, and this is the Top 10 Scariest Things in Gaming. What's the scariest thing you can think of right now? Mine's some Chuck E. Cheese animatronics! I've talked about this game briefly before in another video, so I'll keep this brief as well, but Five Nights at Freddy's is a pretty terrifying game. The entire game in general is just weird and suspicious. Oh, uh, hello there, Mr. Oh, okay. The scariest part about this game is that it looks like it was built on a budget of like $17. Are there even janitors here, or do they just expect the animatronics to clean it up? Oh, and you're gonna need the power for 6 hours, and the batteries only last 10 minutes. Have fun! Cop out, scary piano, next! I seem to not be able to go through a top 10 without coming up with a Zelda game, probably because they fit into so many different topics. What could possibly be scary in a Zelda game? I almost put the happy mask salesman here, but we've heard about enough about him already. Well, immediately, I thought of this thing from Twilight Princess. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, did, oh god. What am, what am I looking at here? This was a big shocker for this being a Zelda game, but Twilight Princess is rated T after all. It was a major jump scare, which I don't think anyone was expecting. I'm not so sure why they put this in here. Maybe they wanted to show people that Zelda games aren't just kids games, but yet again, I don't know things. <laughs> Here's something I don't like. I hate it when people talk about Lavender Town like it's the scariest thing ever. The music is really not that bad. The really scary thing about Lavender Town, however, isn't the official music, but the beta music. I'm not sure how legit this is, this is the internet after all, but this might be real, so I'm including on this list. Here's a quick sound clip from Lavender Town's beta music. I'm deleting this from my computer when this video is uploaded. I may or may not be hunted down by Game Freak. Anyone else ever play those TAC games or is it just me? Anyone? No? Well, TAC 2, the Staff of Dreams, had this thing called the Dream World or something. Yeah, it was a weird game. In the Dream World were some of the scariest things I have ever had to fight. These green slug things were the worst when I was a kid. If you get too close, they turn invisible and mess you up. They're super hard to fight and come in like groups of three. Ah, childhood. You gave me this trauma, and now I tell people about it on the internet. Good times, man. Good times. Half-Life 2 being a zombie-related game, you would probably expect to see it on a list like this. The scary thing about Half-Life isn't the zombies, but it's the zombie voices. If you reverse them and make them a little more high-pitched, as you can see by my wonderful Sony Vegas skills, it sounds like a screaming people. Now listen to it. Sleep is overrated anyways. Minecraft, yeah! Where do you think you're going, pig? Dead. Eat it. Time to build a nether portal. Yeah! Adventure! Oh, okay then. Hey, Mr. Pigman. Don't, don't murder me. The Nether from Minecraft is an alternate world you can go to. You kinda need to go there to get stuff, and I absolutely hate it every time I have to go in there. The Nether itself isn't that bad, but the really weird part is the guests. These things are super hard to kill if you don't have a fishing pole or a bow, and even when you do kill one, the guest here usually falls in the lava. 
The worst part about them is that they make weird baby noises. Who made this game again? Some guy. That's enough Minecraft for today. I'm gonna go play some curb. <laughs> GTA isn't usually something you would- Oh wait, yes it is! GTA 5 had some decently creepy stuff. The UFOs, Michael fighting aliens, this guy. But the one thing that creeps me out about GTA 5 is the ghost on Mount Gordo. If you go to the top of Mount Gordo and look through your sniper rifle at the lower portion of the mountain at 11pm in-game time, you will see a ghost. With hyper-realistic blood. The blood underneath the ghost spells out the word jock. Jock Cranley is an in-game politician who apparently murdered his wife by pushing her off a cliff and then collected the attention and probably the insurance money getting away with it. The creepier part is that this was based off of a true story where a woman fell off of a cliff on a Mount Gordon. One letter off from Gordo. Spooky scary slendermans. Oh wait, I'm not talking about any of the Slender games, I'm talking about Runner 2. Runner 2 is a light-hearted platformer thing. It's one of those games, let's just say that. So, how does Slendy fit in here? Well, on a certain level, if you look closely in the background, you can see the Slender Man. Trust me, this is not photoshopped like that Gravity Falls picture. This is legit. Go play and see for yourself. The really creepy part isn't him being there, but rather, why is he there? Incoming theory? Possibly. So you're probably all thinking, Matt, we've waited this long, what is your number one scariest thing in gaming? Well, I'm glad you asked. The number one scariest thing in gaming, in my opinion, is the SCP Foundation. The SCP Foundation is a fictional foundation in the, in the game SCP Containment Breach, and yes, this guy is super terrifying. The SCP Foundation is the organization who is supposed to contain strange entities and objects that might be a harm to public safety. The reason this is number one is because some developers or fans were so dedicated to this that they made a whole wiki page and even a hotline that you can call. What I'm about to show you is the footage that I collected of me calling this number that should be on the screen right now. Okay, take two of calling SCP Foundation. The first number I tried didn't work because I guess the area code was wrong. But this time I think this is right, so let's call this. Speaker. Hello, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to reach. SCP Foundation, Supervisory Field Agent Smith. Bruh! So, there's some stuff out there, and also some things. What the? SCP Foundation, Southern California, Division 19. Please leave a message including date and time of incident, location of incident, and a description of the incident itself. Thank you. Uh, so I was on the interwebs, and uh, I found this number, so I called it, because I think uh, there's some chicken nuggets in my refrigerator. That is all. Is, is anything gonna happen? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was that was fun. I tell you that. I tell you what, that was real fun right there. When I first saw some guy do this on YouTube, I was a little freaked out because I thought it was real for a second. But you know, it was obviously made by a developer or a really dedicated fan. But I honestly think that this is one of the scariest things in gaming. That is all. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like for my pro phone call recording techniques. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Twitch.tv. Or don't. Whatever. My name is Matt, aka Chunky Monkey Games, and I will see you all next time. Happy Halloween!